Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Our next conversation this morning is on the ongoing uh, Juson strike across Nigeria. And this morning, we're going to be speaking with Mr. Jimo Musa, who is a national treasurer of uh, Juson. Uh, updates, of course, on that story say that the governors have refused to endorse the Memorandum of Understanding uh, that may have led to the calling off of the strike. Good morning, Jimo Musa. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. All right, um, let's, you know, get into this. You know, th this strike has gone on for, you know, way longer than, a lo than uh, people had expected. Um, there is talks about a memorandum of understanding that governors should have signed off on. Of course, uh, that would have led to the calling off of the strike. What seems to be the challenge here? Well, um, um, as like, as of two weeks back, we signed a memorandum hoping that the governors uh, to consent the, the memorandum. No surprisingly, they remained. But after, on Thursday, they came out with another a memorandum, differently from the one we signed. They changed some clause in the memorandum, and we felt they were not being fair to us. So we did not sign the memorandum. But as a Friday, we met with the Minister of Labor, the President NRC, Comrade Ayuba Waba, and his internage. We, after long debate and argument, the union signed our own column of the memorandum. So we have an agreement now that is binding on us. The only thing, there is a call of the memorandum that says, for sign of good faith, the governor should pay April or May amount standing to the credit of the judiciary. That will be a conditional uh, way of suspending the strike. Mm -hmm. So as of today, we are waiting for them on today tomorrow to do truthful as contained in the memorandum. So as we can call our Congress or NEC, to address them, possibly or most likely, we will suspend this plan. All right, let me let me understand. What memorandum of understanding did the Juson sign off on? Was it the one that the governors brought forward, or the initial one that was put together by Juson? Uh, there was no time Juson put a memorandum at all. All the memorandums that were signed were products of the governors. The first one came from them. We, we signed it because of the interest of uh, Nigerians that are suffering because of this strike. So, so does this, no as, aside the... A memorandum because the constitutional provision... Yeah, aside the salaries that you've mentioned... Um, Pardon? Aside the salaries that you've mentioned uh, that should, uh, if they are paid, you know, would uh, lead, of course, to the end of the, of the strike, does the MOU also dictate you know, some of the things that were complained about that led to the strike in the first place? The MOU, uh, we're not talking of uh, salary, we're talking of one new to the judiciary at the state level to be paid directly to the uh, state judiciary. Okay. That is what is contained in the MOU. Okay. We have a budgeted amount in every state, uh, every state uh, judiciary. A budget that has been passed and approved the one that stands for judiciary will be deducted from the accountant general of each state and paid to uh, the head of court in that state consigned. That is what we agreed to do. And it will take effect from a place salary. Okay. okay. So, Mr. Musa, this yes. MOE we're talking about, it was actually presented by the Nigeria Governors Forum. Is that yes. right? So yes. if the Nigeria Governors Forum, you know, presented or formed this document that addressed your grievances, why then is it a challenge for the governors to, to ascend to it? That is what Bank will say. They, they presented this document to the uh, DD Governors Forum, and after a long debate, we were, we were convinced that we should sign. We endorsed even without them being present. But they were represented by the Governors, uh, the chair of Governors Forum. He said he doesn't have no cook to sign. So the minister endorsed, and the senator, technically to the committee, endorsed. Surprisingly, for them to 
Kanta and those are the top the papers back to the this the daily night. It took them two weeks before they now came out with another different document. And with some change with some clause change in the document. That was why we refused that we're not going to sign. So we okay. have to study it. And after studying, we met with the minister on Friday. He tried to convince us and educate us, and we saw reason with Nigeria that we should start for software. So we endorsed bad document. Now it's for the document to take effect from today, Monday. Tuesday, whether to see whether they will do the needful as far as what contained in the document. Okay, um, Mr. Musa, we know yes. that one of the governors that have, you know, said he would not sign off on that document, he says the MOU signed between Justin and the Nigeria Governors Forum is not binding on the state, is Governor Yes and Wiki. Which other governor, you know, has blatantly refused, you know, not to sign that MOU? Uh, the Governors Forum are presented by the chairman and the vice chairman. And next week is not a chairman or vice chairman of the governor's forum. So if the, if the chairman and the vice chairman have signed a document, I think it's binding on next week. It's binding on him. For him to say it's uh, not binding on him, I don't think he's doing the right thing. You don't expect it as a few governors of this country to come together and sign a simple document. So they have their representative, and the representative chairman that the governor of uh, uh, AQT has signed, and the governor of Sokoto, someone, has signed. They are the key echo there. So the next weekend issue is not to be taken seriously. All right. Oh, well, let's see how this goes. Uh, you've mentioned uh, today uh, till Wednesday, hopefully... Uh, they, of course, uh, play their own part with regards to the MOU and uh, make those payments. Uh, Jim Musa, we hope to speak with you again, uh, but on a more positive note next time. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank today. you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So we'll take a break here to discuss another big issue in the country. It's the Office of the National Security Advisor. He's actually this, you know basically said lots of you know security agencies in the country would basically be cancelled saying these people are harassing nigerians and they need to be scrapped we'll discuss that in detail after the break